I'm Jeanette Beadle, I'm an art teacher at Blackburn High School and I'd just like to introduce you to Yvonne East, an emerging artist from Victor Harbour who's um, come down to Blackburn to make an amazing mural which is going to be based on using students in their, her work and also looking at uh, the idea of uh, seasons at Blackwood High School. Um, over to Eva, I'm going to ask her to just go through what she's painting at the moment, some of the students and the backgrounds that are going to be involved. So if you want to have a little walk around, we're just going to pan over sure. to where... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you quick pan. Well, what I, the process started when I got, I came to the high school and did a few photos of some of the students who are currently here. From that, I took them away and had a look at the concept. And one of the main things that the students talked about was how much the gardens influenced their experience here in Blackwood. And Blackwood as a suburb as well is very leafy. Um, so the natural world does have a big influence on all the people who live here. So wanting to include that into the mural, we decided to make the theme of the mural the Four Seasons. So we have summer, winter, autumn and spring as very, very large faces, which we were standing in front of spring before, just over there. And to involve the students as well, we're working on these smaller panels which will be on the other side of the mural. The mural is actually going up on the Year 8 stairwell. Uh, it's a big exterior south-facing wall and we're also looking at the west-facing wall as well, putting some works on there. So these smaller panels we're doing, I've got the wonderful Eilish and Jess, who's actually doing the video at the moment, she's mm. behind the <laughs> camera, uh, in here helping and uh, currently they're working in uh, wet and wet blending over here, if you pan over. So there are, what we do is we do a demonstration of uh, particular techniques and then uh, the students come in, they have a go at the techniques and uh, also working in layers and getting students used to um, working in a layered approach and, and really seeing how the whole process of painting comes together uh, with a fair bit of forethought as well. You don't just sort of sit down and just kind of do something, you think about the steps and the processes and uh, we, we've ended up with some really, really lovely works. So this one I'm working on at the moment is Maca and uh, it's all done in exterior acrylic paint um, so it will survive the weather um, and one of the interesting things for the students has been um, coming in and they'll see something like this where you've got bright orange underpainting and one of the processes that I use is to, I don't know, can you see them? <laughs> We're just getting it's down right here. down the bottom huh? of the shoe. Oh. <laughs> um, so it, it's actually been really surprising for them to walk in and, and see a girl with bright green hair or something like that and, and they've kind of been asking the question why is it painted that colour? Um, I use complementary colours for the underpainting and what that does is complementary colours, when you look at the colour wheel, the opposite colour on the colour wheel really makes uh, each colour stand out and more vibrant. So with these kind of exterior quality paints, you do struggle to get really, really bright colours that are going to last in the sun. So by using complementary colours, so this is orange and the complementary of orange is blue. So there'll be a blue colour going over the top of this orange and because the orange is underneath, it'll make the blue look more intense. So it sounds a little bit daggy, but I'm a big fan of colour theory, so it's nice to be able to introduce the students to the joys of colour theory and, and the techniques that go behind creating artworks and then using those to be able to really explore ideas creatively. And that's all from me.